The north winds blew in a bunch of fresh birds setting Daryl up for a fine morning combo. The eagles are hunting and disturbing the flocks causing me unnecessary grief and Mel breaks yet another one of my trucks. That's enough drama for one day boys. Later that afternoon, I take a group into a bale field and side shoot a limit of specs that did it. And Jason leads his group the next morning to yet another 3232 hunt to add to the books. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across five million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. It's Wednesday afternoon. Claudio's at the airport picking up the next crew of guys and uh, we just all hit the road here for the evening scouting and uh, we've got a couple good options. <laughs> We're watching this cow in the background right now chase these geese around. He's pretty upset they're on his pond. Mel's watching a hunt for the morning. I've got a hunt for the morning. Uh, we're, we're looking pretty good right now for the new guys coming in. Both pretty good hunts. Should be uh, a lot of fun for them, but uh, we're, we're sitting pretty good. We've got lots of hunts lined up and uh, new crew hunters. The next few days should be great. Well, we went from nothing five minutes ago to it looks like we got a hunt again which is awesome because I, they were uh, short stopping me. This looks good now. I'm gonna have to give Jay a call and tell him I got his back. <clears throat> if the ducks start coming in here, we gotta go on this one. Kind of spooked me tonight because I come, I see them all going into the stubble just to the southeast of me and I'm going, uh-oh, this one's done. And now they're all piling in here, so this is looking way better. I'm more concerned with that other field because it isn't one that I can just go in and, and uh, coyote or anything because we don't have permission on it and I can't find the landowner's number. So, all right, I gotta make a call right now before it's too late. Time for the road snacks. <laughs> Quick little stout and I think we're gonna make a little sandwich up here. <laughs> Sitting in a car all day, you get hungry. Scouting these birds. Should be delicious. Hey. KJ, I'm back on. Uh, they're coming out of that stubble. They're pouring in here like crazy now. Hey. I, I, so, you know, if, you, if yours isn't, it isn't good, I don't know how many ducks I got yet, but I got lots of specks. Yeah, there's a lot of specks. The snows are starting to roll now. Um, anyways, I got no ducks, so probably, you know, if your ducks go in there, um, we'll go from there. But Yeah, I've got flight after flight of big flights coming in here now. I, I didn't think I was going to see anything, to be real honest with you. But, well, well, let's just keep in touch and see how sure. the night, night rolls out. Sounds good, bud. You betcha, man. Okay, bye. Okay. We're just going to play this one by ear. I think I'm going to slide back in the field. I can get to the other end and we can get a way better look. That'll probably be the target hill because of the northwest wind. So we'll probably target that hill for a setup. They're all the way along. Well, there's a flight of ducks, you know, 30 or 40 ducks going in. I'd like to see another 10 of those at least. I don't want to take uh, the hunt away from Jay if I don't have a good volume of ducks. So it's just a matter, oh, there's another flight. So I can see them, the ducks, oh, there's a flight of ducks. I can see them flipping around over there. So I, I think we're okay. Hey, so how's your hunt looking? This one built up all day, like with the north wind today, I must have picked up a lot of lot of specks here today. We'll be good to go here. Oh, you, you'll be good. This, this one's good to go, other than lucky guy me, I get to dress bl blinds with P chaff, which we... We're, we're in the same boat then, Exact same thing. Yeah, no kidding. Now we're going to strip them out. Yeah. 
All right, man, I'll let you go. Yeah, all right, talk to you later. You bet. Bye. Bye. Just birds all left the field now. To just uh, pull up here and uh, get the pin in the ground. Hail damaged. There's just food everywhere. Everywhere you look. They don't even have to dig for it. Get this pin in. And we're good for the morning. Let's get back to camp and get some dinner. Good morning. Uh, this group is uh, just starting out. They've been here before, but uh, they're out with Daryl this morning and with Mel, both on combo. So we're out spotting for the afternoon program, see if we can cover those guys. Likely need some Canada geese if all goes well, so we are on the prowl. Yeah. Get ready on this pass. <laughs> Yo! Here. Yep, right into those bales. I wonder why they're in the bales. There's gotta be some feed in there. So they've spread a bunch of manure in this field, which uh, may or may not affect the birds, but it sure won't be fun to lay in. I've done that before. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it would be an ideal afternoon option if the guys don't get all of their, their specs because there's some snows in here as well, which would be kind of nice. And that depends. There's, there's multiple pods here, so we'll see. All we can do now is wait for the boys' uh, boys updates, and it's Mel and Daryl today, so it'll be uh, it'll be fun. They have lots of ducks in their hunts, which is nice. And this one doesn't have any ducks, and that's kind of why we don't we wouldn't kick it off with this one. That and what's been happening typically is the eagles, as soon as they wake up, they're going to go swoop the pond and put up a whole bunch of birds, and then you get them all at once, which is never uh, never ideal. So we'll see what happens. The ducks are starting to pick up now, but uh, haven't seen a whole lot of geese yet. Well, we did see for specs. They tried to set in the field behind us. Gave us a bit of trouble there, sucking birds in. But uh, lots of ducks moving right now. They're all over us. We're covered up. So we'll finish out this duck limit here quick and try to pick off a few more honkers. But. Yeah, let's get back here. There's ducks all over us. Ready. Get up! Get up! Big group on the right, mallards. Kill them! Mallards, mallards! Need three more mallards. And the green head. Shoot that green head. Two, three, done. Done, done, done. Whoop, 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 whoop. You get him on the right. Yeah, he's right out front. Kill him. Yeah, 40. All right. So the eagles have absolutely just made a mess of everything. They just put everything up. Everything. So now, hopefully they'll kill, because if they kill, the birds will settle down. If not, this can happen until like 10.30. Oh boy, what a mess. What a mess. Ah, oh, this makes me mad. See these? Gray hair, gray hair. There's another few for me today. Just have an update here, Mel is at 11 ducks, 10 geese, so he's got three cans, seven specks. And then Daryl, 40 ducks, nine hawks. So that happened real quick for him. In 40 minutes, he ended up with all of his ducks. So 
we need some specs, so I'll just go. I have at this time, I have Daryl's guys covered for sure. Perfect. Looks like I'm in. And all we just need is these birds to settle, which is nice. Should be a good hunt. There's lots of them in here. So we just finished up our hunt. We ended up with uh, 40 mallards and uh, pintails and 10 honkers. Uh, it's starting to get pretty warm out. Not a lot's flying. They're all heading back to water now. We'll get the guys out this afternoon. Claudio's got a great hunt. Uh, some specks, some snows, and some Canada's. Get these guys out in the afternoon. Clean up their limit for the day. Um, they had fun this morning. They got to experience a pretty good duck show. They just ducks were rolling us all morning long. It was pretty awesome. You don't uh, get to see that every day. Alberta field hunting, that's where it's at. Well, we just left for spotting. Mel left a couple minutes uh, before me, and all of a sudden uh, I got a phone call and the black CRV that Mel drives is broken. I guess the engine just quit. And now look, he's on the side of the road. Probably didn't check his oil. I'll tell you, Honda didn't have a good oil. Oh, jeez, I can't even see it. Let's put it in there. I got to go spotting. Let's go. Well, I know. You go, go ahead. I don't know what I'll do. That's why we're waterfowl guides. We can't get the oil dipstick back into the engine block. Yeah, because you can't see the thing. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? These are gone. No, it's not. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, that's what happens when you're blind, man. You got her? Yeah, first Look at try. That. First try. Oh, yeah, that's run you back. We'll get you another car so you can wreck another one. <laughs> what I'm going to do here today is we got a unique situation where we got a bunch of birds feeding on some green barley regrowth in amongst a bunch of bales. So what we're doing is we're setting panel blinds right up against the bales, and we're anticipating, obviously, the sun to come around. We'll be in the shaded side, and we're just going to do a classic side shoot. We're going to put the main body upwind and out in front of us. Target birds about 22 yards out, straight off the bow, if you will. And then uh, a leg of about another dozen or so specks on the little bit downwind of them and then just a big main body i'm going to put a bunch of dna's a bunch of socks in with about 150 full bodies and i just want those birds to be confident when they see them they'll come and they're coming this way anyways but what's going to happen is with this wind and it's supposed to pick up as the evening progresses they'll come and take advantage of that ground effect and they'll stay low and they'll either come in and whiffle right in and settle into land or if they start to climb up a little bit, we're just slightly down in and we'll shoot them at, as they approach. So we should have a little bit of time before the birds come anyways, which is nice. And we're just gonna relax and chill, maybe have a snack and a pop and, and just wait for the birds. Hold tight, hold. We're gonna kill these, get ready. We're gonna kill those, try them, try them. They shot, they shot. No, all right, we got action, guys. Watch the movement, guys, watch the movement, watch the barrels. Drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him. Doesn't even let his dad shoot first. That was you? Nice. Nice. Wow. That was a heavy metal for sure. Kill these two guys. Kill that one. He's coming back for more. <laughs> let's get him. Let's get him this time. Kill that. Kill it. Kill it. Nice. Eight. Nice. Go, go, go. I don't see him. Randy, first, first day of bird hunting in Canada. Scotch double, it was good. 
It's good. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't perfect early, but like right now we're gonna kill another, I don't know, 50, 80 probably, it was good. Our wind got a little light on us, but they're good. The ones that did it, did it perfectly, and we shot a few high ones just to make it interesting, but we gotta live in the specs. It was good. Plan work the clones, I'll tell you what. I like them, they're good. All right, my hunt's still looking good. Uh, lots of geese come in here tonight, so that's great. We got about 15 minutes left of light, so we'll stay here now and uh, put them to bed, we call it. Just simply watching the birds leave, go back to their roost far enough away from the field. Everything's happy. <clears throat> they fed real nice tonight. No bunny hopping out of here, skipping around. They, they came, they stayed put, they ate, they're happy, which makes me happy. Claudio did really well tonight. Uh, all his specs and seven snows. So that was great, and Jeff went out and he uh, got all his ducks, cleaned up Mel's limit from this morning, and uh, three specks, one snow, so it's another great day. Tomorrow's a new one though, so I'm looking forward to it. Why, while we're hunting out in the big bush this morning, so we need some more trees. I was hunting out of layouts and then I was hunting out of big bush. I couldn't make my mind up last night. So I made it up at 3.30 this morning in bed. So we're cutting willows. That should be good. Willow cutting session 101 is over. Yeah, pruning all done. Now let's go set up the rig. We got a beautiful wind this morning. Might be almost too heavy. Oh, come on now. <laughs> we, what? Too much, we, not enough. That's what we do. I want to hear just right. Guides complaints or guides excuses. 101 excuses. She's been here yesterday. Usually it's just bad shooting. Oh! Especially on the fronts, actually. We need a few small ones on the fronts. On the front, okay. But this back has to be covered. All of the whole blind, guys. All right, good morning. We made it into the field. Uh, we got in, we cut a bunch of willows for the willow blind, looking really good. The boys are just finished dressing it. And uh, we're in a pea field this morning, putting out, uh, oh, what, 70 Bigfoot, a bunch of FFDs, and a bunch of the silo socks as well. Uh, lots of lesser Canada's in here. We got a south, uh, east wind, so we're gonna side shoot them. We got the blind facing to the west, so they should just come up the middle. The guys will be shooting them as they're passing by. We weren't shooting them in the face this morning. They're getting a little, uh, it's end of September into October, so they're getting a little bit smarter now. So we're going to, uh, so when they concentrate, or when they're coming in, they're looking at the decoys, and the blind's not in front, right? So they're not looking at blind. We're off to the side, just a classic side shoot. So the lights are coming on. I gotta get going. I gotta put out some decoys. <laughs> okay, on the right, you guys. <laughs> Go straight out, go! Holy, those decoyed real good. Coming on the right. Let him come. Give me straight in front. Let him come. Let him take kill him. Right out front. Come on, guys. You gotta hit him. Gotta kill these guys. Good job. <laughs> on the right. On the right. <laughs> Don't move. Patient. They're coming right in. Get ready. Get ready. Let him come. Let him come. Kill him. Right there. Go. Reload! 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 That was too cool. <laughs> that was too cool. <laughs> Watch these two. Get ready. Kill them. These two. Good job. Good job. Oh, you shoot better at those than you do the flocks. So that tells you that they're tells flock you shooting. Flockers. Flockers. <laughs> All right. That was awesome. They worked just great. That pass shooting was awesome. Unbelievable. Uh, clicked off 32. 
got our limit of specs and the rest are all cans. We're done, on to the ducks. Wasn't a lot of ducks in here, but you never know. Get ready, on the right. Ready, go. Get ready, get ready, get ready, go. Straight out. Oh, Did they get the double? I think so. Real low, straight out on the right. Real low. Get ready, get ready. Let him come, let him come. Let him come. Hey, go, go, straight out, go. Shoot straight. Three for me. Right above, right above. Real low on the right. This is your last kick at the can, boys. Get ready, get ready. Let him come, let him come, let him come. Okay, go, straight out. <laughs> Full limit. Man, fantastic. We said we needed a few more. We got a few more. JMO, pulling the strings. 32 32. Another perfect morning. I didn't think we'd get all our 32 ducks, to be honest with you. There was only about 400, 300 feeding in here, but the roost was really close and they kept coming back out. We'd shoot them and they'd go back and they'd come back out and worked out good. We got all our geese before we got our ducks. It's backwards, but it was good. Well, that's nice to see. Hello. Hello. I always show up when the hunts go so well. <laughs> yeah, we did good. You did good. Oh yeah, yeah, they did it. It was pretty, man. It was pretty, just. And the, the wind stuck. It was beauty. Yeah. Side shot. Two clones. Yeah. Big feed band in my leg. Nice. Little pod down there. Nice. Oh yeah, they're all right here. Did you, where'd you have the clones? Right there. And right they, where you put Robo. Really? And they went. Yeah. We took them down. The secret weapon. We took them down, and it did make a difference. Better with the clones. On. Yes. Nice. Good. Well, that worked out well. We got a uh, limit of geese and a limit of ducks, and uh, these guys are done for the day. There's still geese coming in. They shot their 32-32. Tomorrow morning, uh, last hunt, and then get ready for the next group.